Hey everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Family Moments, where we use really cool object lessons that teach the truth about what matters most. Exactly. And today, we're going to have some fun with this. A cork. Oh, are we going to make a tack board? Uh, no, we're not going to make a tack board. What we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead... Or maybe we're going to make a vase out of cork. <laughs> Well, no, we're not going to make a vase out of corks either. What we're going to do today... Or maybe we're going to have fun with cork guns. Well, no, we're not going to have fun with cork guns. What are you talking about? Like this. See? Oh, that's cool. Can I try it? Sorry, but you're not a trained professional like me. Ow, brother. Hey kids, Pastor Robbie here, along with today's special co-host, Isaac. Hello. And today, we're going to have some fun learning about loneliness. Loneliness? That doesn't sound like much fun. Well, you're right. Loneliness isn't a lot of fun. In fact, have you ever felt lonely? Well, yeah. Sometimes at school when others are laughing and joking without me, I feel left out. Hmm. Well, you're not alone when it comes to loneliness. Studies show that more than 80% of young people experience feelings of loneliness. Wow. And it could be they didn't get invited to a party, or they don't have many friends to play with, or they just don't feel like they fit in. Yeah, that's no fun. And as Valentine's Day approaches, some people feel sad or lonely if they don't have a special Valentine in their life. That part doesn't seem to bother me yet. No, but a lot of people have what's called lonely hearts. Why is that? Well, in our digital world, it's not always easy to make friends and interact with people. It's far easier to get locked into video games or doing things on our own. And sometimes we paint ourselves into a corner and it seems like we're trapped. Paint ourselves into a corner? Yeah, that means if you're painting the floor of a room and you work your way towards a corner, now you're stuck because you can't get out of the room without getting messy. So you feel like your situation is hopeless. That would feel terrible. When you feel alone and lonely, the enemy likes to fill your mind with lies. Like, nobody likes you. You don't have any real friends. You're weird. And you end up feeling trapped and weak like there's no way out. So what are we supposed to do? Great question. Let's take a look at our Bible verse for the day. It comes from Psalm 25, 15 through 17, where it says, I always look to the Lord for help. He will keep me safe from my enemies so that their traps do not catch me. Please turn towards me, Lord, and be kind to me. I feel very weak and lonely. I worry a lot about my troubles. Please rescue me from them. So what does that mean? Well, it means that even though we may feel weak and trapped, the Lord can still provide a way out if we trust Him. Trust Him? How? Well, when I feel lonely, I pray that He'll put His arms around me and pull me through, even if it's tough. And you know what? He does. But I have to stay strong in Him. Let me demonstrate this for you with a little optic lesson I like to call the Lonely Hearts Club Bandana. And all we're gonna need is an empty wine bottle, a cork, a dowel rod, a hammer, and a bandana. Let's pretend that this cork is you, and you're free to go and be with anyone. But you start to distance yourself from others by going into the neck of this bottle like this. Hmm, that's kind of restricting. Yeah, it is restricting. And then your friends invite you to come over, but you decide to stay home and play video games by yourself instead. Oh man, I'm stuck, pull me out. And now you made a joke at school and no one laughed. Instead, they just thought you were strange. And now you're feeling even lonelier. Oh man, it's just getting worse. And now you find yourself spending more and more time by yourself doing what you want, but feeling lonely inside and trapped. Oh no, now what do I do? What, can't you just get out? I mean, like if you want to? Get out? be impossible. I'm stuck unless I break the bottle. Well, it might seem like that. But remember, 
You can call on the Lord and He can rescue you. How is He supposed to do that? Well, why don't we find out? Let's pretend that this bandana is God and you pray and call on Him to rescue you. So we'll wind him up and lower him inside through the neck of the bottle like this. Then we'll turn the bottle upside down and let you get surrounded by him as he pulls you out like this. It's not always easy, but he can rescue you. See? What in the world? Now you can experience freedom from your loneliness. I can't believe that worked. Trusting God and having patience with our loneliness is a beautiful thing. So, Isaac, what did you learn today? I learned that it's easy to get caught up in our own world and then listen to the enemy making us feel lonely and hopeless. Exactly. But with God, our situation is never hopeless. We can call on Him to rescue us, and even though it won't be easy, He can set us free. Very good. Now, I was just thinking about another object lesson with a cork. Really? What's that? When we are lonely, we're like this cork floating in this bowl of water all by ourselves. Hmm, that does look pretty lonely. But when we call on God, He can set us free like this. Hmm, what are you talking about? Uh, yeah. See? Here's the cork. It's free. Want to see it again? Uh, no. We'll see you around. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.